Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to another episode of our Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play. So I am finally back from holiday. It feels so good to be back and starting to record again. Obviously, I'll be able to now take all the advice you guys gave me over the past, what, 11 episodes, and try and start to kind of put them into this series. Now, this will be a little bit of a longer intro than usual, just because I want to run through everything you guys told me in the past episodes where I couldn't act on it because I'd pre-recorded all them episodes. So, uh, first off, I've gone ahead and finally turned up the in-game sounds, cutscenes, and voices. Um, again, let me know if that's okay in the comments down below for this episode. I've also am going to make sure I make sure I turn up brightness in whenever we're in nighttime in the woods because you guys said you couldn't see whatsoever. Um, you guys also told me to do a lot more side missions, so I think that's what we're going to do. Now that we have a break from our main quest line, obviously just keep completing that epic, epic. Uh, Bandit Siege a couple episodes ago. We're gonna take this time to you know enjoy the campaign explore some uh, Explore some towns. Maybe we haven't been to do a few more side missions So I'd probably say for the next three four episodes That's what we're gonna do you guys also told me that I should 100% go after the armor um, From the treasure maps from the DLC from pre-ordering however I'm not sure if I want to do that I kind of like the idea of us slowly gradually increasing our armor getting better loot better weapons and stuff like that I feel like if we just go after that DLC armor, we're immediately going to have like end game gear and I kind of don't want to do that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below as I'd be really, really interested to find out. And obviously if you guys want me just to go get that armor, I will. But I kind of like the idea of us slowly increasing our stats, getting better armor, rising through the ranks, etc, etc. Um, as well as that main level, I was asking you guys what you wanted me to level up. I think the majority of you guys did kind of land on Brute. It does obviously increase your strength, uh, but it does decrease your charisma and speech. So it will be more of kind of a, a, a hard hitter. We'll be trying to just get straight to a point whenever we do these conversations. So I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. That's obviously what you guys said you wanted me to do. I think the majority of people uh, who are doing Let's Plays on YouTube went Golden Tongue, and that's what you guys want to see something a little bit different. So we're going to pick this up. That's kind of the one I saw the most in the comments, so let's go ahead and pick that up. We are now going to get a bonus to our strength. We have 10 strength. However, our speech and charisma are down in the dirt right now, uh, which is not good. Obviously, we are a bit drunk, I believe, right now as well from uh, our autosave. Um, do we have anything else to level up? Um, you guys also were telling me that I should 100% go to... Um, go to uh, Sir, whatever he's called in Townburg, I think he is, um, and go ahead and do some more training with him, learn some moves like counter attack and stuff like that. So I think we'll do that this episode as well, or at least over the next couple episodes. I think the plan for this episode is to bring back this horse to uh, to Lady Stephanie at Townburg, start the uh, monastery quest for uh, the Lord of Townburg. Uh, maybe to complete them, see if we run into anything else interesting, and then go maybe practice some sword fighting, because I think that's something we definitely have to do. So let's get on this horse. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to be. Boy. Want me to sing? Because the horse isn't exactly... You're definitely the first horse I've Isn't the easiest to, to keep under control. come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is grey which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? You can already wow. tell Henry's getting quite bored. Still gonna throw me off? Well, we, we've sang to him, so uh, hopefully, hopefully not. Let's, let's just double check we are going the right way now as well. Yeah, brilliant. So we just need to follow this road along um, and then go off into the woods, which should be absolutely fine. So after we've completed this quest for Lady, or we've completed this part of the quest for Lady Stephanie, we'll have the horse, we'll have the wine. We just need to go ahead and uh, select. I think it's the, I can't remember what it is, I think it's like a tiara or something, in a town we haven't actually discovered. So I think what we'll do is we'll see where the other quest is to get the stone from the from the church. And then if that's over there as well, which actually no, I believe it is, right? Yeah, I believe it is, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're both down here, so we can go ahead and get the, um, get the crown from over here and then also go ahead and start the quest. And then we should hopefully be able to return probably by the end of this episode and do both was it in the woods no it's just carry on following it around right oh some deer i believe it's just following them around right if we go to map um no we do actually need to go off into the forest there okay okay i mean we might run into bandits so we do need to be careful obviously this mare is uh is probably not the easiest to ride especially in the woods as well 
Um, we also just want to take a time while whilst we are traveling just to say how like how grateful I am to you guys showing this much love and support to this let's play part or to this let's play in general. I really really do appreciate it and I think it's so awesome that you guys are like happy with me just doing side quests and you know just exploring the world in general. I, I appreciate it so goddamn much so thank you guys and oh yeah also, I should have mentioned this is going to be a double upload day as well. So we're going to upload another episode later today. Make sure to go ahead and drop some love on that. And obviously, if both of the, if this episode and the next episode, so the double upload today, get over 700 likes, I'll go ahead and do another double upload on Saturday. So, you know, not tomorrow, but the day after. So you know, if you guys want five episodes in three days, just let me know. Uh, and obviously by hitting that like button, that'd be great. My lord, is this like the hunter? I guess this is like, a, yeah, this is a hunter. I can see on the map. How you doing? And here we go. Perfect. God, we actually managed to uh, navigate through the uh, map without too much trouble. Not too bad whatsoever. So let's go ahead and drop off the horse, uh, hopefully. Uh, we didn't actually run into any bandits as well. I thought there might, might have been a few, like, scripted bandits attacks or something. This could have happened. I'm also really looking forward to the monastery quest. Because I wonder, because obviously... Lord Davish is trying to get, you know, uh, the stone from a monastery to improve his castle and stuff. So I wonder if we actually do that side quest, if we're going to see people actually working on his castle, making it stronger. I think that'd be really, really interesting. I mean, probably not, if I'm honest, but still, nonetheless, it would be kind of cool. We have arrived, good sir. Yeah, so great, we've done that now, so for Lady Stephanie... Lady Stephanie, Milady, might as well pop in with her. Just let her know that we uh, we're Lord getting there. Um, I brought the Roan and I brought the Roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Not at all. He didn't throw me off once, so serious. he's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. It's the truth. But I've learned a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me. Oh, Lady Stephanie, lady come on. I'm trying to be honourable here. So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead. <clears throat> to horses come roaming in the merry month of May. To graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. Uh, so... I brought the wine. I brought the wine as well. Cost wonderful, me enough money. Wonderful. No wedding is complete without... Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. None at all, my lady. Yeah, well, we won't, we won't burden her, burden her with our problems. The word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. Um, so let's go, let's end it now. Are you guys also telling me I should buy some books whenever I am at, like, a, a book merchant or something like that? Which is something we can definitely do. Um, did we need to pick up the wine here? No, we just... It said to put us put it down somewhere, but there's no, like, objective marker. So, I guess we'll just move on towards the uh, quest right here. We haven't actually discovered this town either, so that'd be nice. Your horse can't get here. Wow. It'd be annoying if we can't use our horse. I mean, I'm sure we just have to go outside of the, the town gates or something. The horse obviously is left all the way back in, in Uzit. I like how people know my name and like me and stuff. There we go. Perfect. Hello, boy. Um, see... Yeah, let's make our way. It's probably quite a long way, so maybe we'll fast travel some of the way. And then just... Because we, we need to explore this stuff. So let's fast travel, like, to here. And if we run into any, obviously, interesting encounters, we'll do them. But yeah, we'll run over here. Maybe we could even talk about getting uh, a nice rest here. But we'll probably ride hard to the, the other objectives. And then, like, get an inn somewhere there, I think, would be a good idea. Um, so let's have a look what way we need to go. So it's the opposite direction. Let's make our way out of here, then. Yeah, so I think definitely uh, we're going to try and get some horse armor at some point as well. Because it always just makes the horse look so cool. Probably have to end up buying a new horse 
anyway, because my horse obviously is the starting one. We just need to make ourselves some money, and hopefully we will do that by all these side quests. You guys also, um, whilst we're here, were uh, telling me I should uh, be more honourable, even to a fault. So let me know in the comments down below as well. Do you guys want me to be like honourable, sensible? So like, will like like with the Timmy example, for example. Like I thought I was in the right because I, like there was five guys. I, we could have killed them, but like any normal person wouldn't have done that. You know, it's kind of we have to be safe. We have to make sure that you know we could, we can even go rescue Timmy like we did in the end. We managed to get there just in time. Um, so look, do you want me to be just? you know, smart honourable, or do you want me just to be honourable to a fault? Like, if it gets me in the dumbest situation, do you want me to do it? Because, you know, I, I would be more than happy to do that. If that's what you guys want to see. Uh, we definitely took a wrong turning here. So just let me know in the comments. There's quite a few things I want to find out what you guys suggested, like, want me to do and stuff, so I'd be more than happy to do it. We're going the right way, just want to double check. Yes, we are. Oh, nice, we discovered a new place, so it's just straight through this city take a left or take a right if we can okay cool Henry. sounds perfect oh all the guards are actually in different colored uniforms now as well that's kind of cool and uh, then take a right if i'm not mistaken i'm not gonna look because i am so sure that i am correct and i think this is gonna be the one of the last towns maybe we run into which is kind of interesting we'll be able to discover the entire map which is exciting I'm pretty sure there's still like one major city left we need to go um, and discover. Maybe it's the one we're about to go to now. Um, but I don't think it is. I think this is kind of a smaller town, maybe. I guess there's only one way to find out. Um, hello, what's going on here? Oh, there's Cumans. Cumans, let's go get involved in this then. Sword out. Let's go ahead and help out our brothers. This other guy wants to fight. Let's go, dude. I haven't. I, okay, go easy on me, guys. Because I haven't actually fought in a while yet. Because, yeah, I haven't fought in, like, a couple, like, in at least, like, a seven days, I think. So I'm going to be a little bit rusty. Let's go ahead and faint a bit. Okay, I thought I could get that in time. Yeah, we needed to get our energy back. Just warm up a little bit. Sorry, guys. I probably should have maybe got done some practice before doing uh, this. This guy is ruining me right now. I guess it's some good practice. And, it's, you know, the more you fight, the better it is. So let's go up and then down. How did he still manage to do that? Come on, we got this. Let's go, let's go. Get our energy back. We'll just counter him. Get our defense up a little bit. Like, how could... Okay, we haven't got county. That's why. I guess that's probably why we're getting wrecked. We need to go to a fighting pits and learn counter and stuff. Because that seems like that's what he's doing to us. He just seems like he's dominating us. I mean, everyone else has kind of done their business. I need to win this one-on-one. -on -one. Nice. We, well, we, we managed to do it anyway. The boys are turning up, though. He's running. Run him down, boys. Do not let him escape. I'm going to tackle him. Come on. Let me get in range. Let me get in range. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Nice. We got him. Thank God. So we managed to clear that out. Sorry, that was appalling, appalling uh, bit of combat there. But we can take all of his stuff now, Get put it on our horse, and uh, start selling it. So let's go ahead and just take you know everything of importance that we could sell. Um, you know, especially that they're worth quite a lot. The armor is obviously worth quite a lot. That's actually worth a lot. And we'll take the lockpicks as well. Um, that's perfect. We really loot all of these guys, if I'm honest. And then just stick everything onto our horse. You guys were also telling me that you wouldn't mind me actually using, um, using like an axe or something. It would be kind of cool. I did not mean to take all there. We are obviously so heavily over encumbered. Uh, we do need to make sure we get the upgrade as well at some point. Which allows us just to carry more weight. Because it is so useful. Um, human bow, we don't need this many arrows. Probably the long distance arrows can all go in there as well. Our oh, nice sword. Oh yeah, you guys were harassing me as well to actually go ahead and <laughs> wash my clothes. Which is, I will do that next time we hit a town. I just need to make sure I remember and get in the routine of doing that. 
Uh, we do have gloves on. Yeah, we do have gloves on. This all goes... Okay, that's what we're wearing. That's, we're not actually wearing that. Um, this is actually a really good thing to stick on because it's much better than the one we currently have. Much better. It gives us so much more head armor. So I guess we'll stick that on. It's worth a lot more money, but why not? Uh, you know, if we have it, then let's just take it along with us. Um, and everything else is fine. Are we still over encumbered? We're no longer over encumbered. Our horse should have all of that gear now, which is perfect. And our horse can still carry a little bit more, even though there is probably still a few more pieces of armor we can pick up. Well, at least I helped out somewhat in this uh, little assault, even though I was pretty appalling. Do we have any food to eat? Because our health isn't the best. Still have that poison bread. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some dried fruits. We do need to be careful, though, because... Did we eat them all? Wow, we did. Uh, yeah, we do need to be careful, because if we get overnourished, we're going to lose our stat bonus. We can save of a balanced diet. It might just provide us with a lot of nice little bonuses. Um, I think it gives us, like, plus one to everything, which is pretty good. But, I mean, overall, we just took, we just got a load of gear that we can sell when we do hit the next market, which is going to be perfect. We can just sell all of that stuff. And hopefully be able to buy ourselves maybe a new some leg armor. You guys are also telling me that I should go ahead and make sure that I get some, like, peasant clothes as well. Not peasant clothes, but clothes are just town, so I'm not always walking around in my armor. Oh, is this for new castle? This is indeed, it looks awesome as well. It's kind of like a monastery castle by the looks of it, I guess. Oh yeah, this is dope. I love the guards as well, so different. So where do we need to go? Is it A or B? You can see, yeah, they're currently working on the monastery, so maybe they're not lying. So A is go to the monastery, and then oh, that's in town. Oh, so this is actually quite a big place. So we need to go there and there. Great, so let's just ride through then. We'll go get Lady Stephanie's stuff first, or we'll clean ourselves as well, as you guys have been hounding me. Yeah, we definitely need to go to more, like, bathhouses and stuff after completing a mission. We should now be clean. Yeah, we are somewhat clean, um, which should help us out a bit. Our charisma is still down. I don't really know why our charisma is down, though. But oh well. I love how the music changes. That's really cool. As we enter kind of a holy place. And we also want to sell all this gear as well. Uh, to, I think we're going to a trader, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not, if I'm not wrong as well, I believe we actually have to go over here. It's like right in the corner, um, if I'm correct. If we can actually... Sorry. <laughs> really just gave everyone like an epileptic fit there. I apologize. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it should be down here. Or maybe is it in this building? Right here, if if I'm correct. Let's have a look. Let's go to the map. So that's the next one along. Well, we'll, we'll just sprint it there. Why not? So we're looking for like a tiara or something here. Hello? Is there anyone here? It's like a normal time, right? Or maybe everyone is asleep. And we're going to need to go to the inn or something. I don't know. There you are. My lord. God be with you. God be with you, sir. The lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Well, Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding, and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. If only, right? <laughs> if only. Replace it. Yeah, we'll obviously try and find the Why stone. Don't you just ask me. Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. Well, that fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassau River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now. Or under the ground. <laughs> it's not that funny. Uh, whatsoever there, Henry. It's a serious matter of the court, and we need to make sure we find him. So, right now... Oh, we have to go all the way over there, okay. 
and find him. It's actually quite a small area, so that's good. We also have all of this area. Oh, there's Sasau. So I guess Sasau is going to be like the next big city. Uh, we discover there's, yeah, there's a few bits up here which could definitely still hold castles and stuff. And yeah, especially this like bottom left thing. I guess the main thing is going to be Sasau there, but there might also be something else there as well. So let's make our way over here. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to find him. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to run into some bandits. So I need to make sure I warm up my, my fighting skills. Um, luckily, we did have a small little skirmish. But that was pretty embarrassing by me. I think we just need to go to Captain Bernard and learn counterattack. Because that seems what's really is ruining me at the moment. It's just the enemy being able to counterattack and me not being able to. So I think either if we have time in this episode, we'll make our way over there. Probably not going to have time this episode. But next episode, we definitely will. Um, you guys also were telling me I should be using an axe. So I might, might do that. I might pick that up and see how that uh, that fares. And see how we do there. Also, a mace. Because obviously, maces are really good at breaking armor. So we could think about using a mace. But I kind of like just having that one longsword. Obviously, I'm not very good with it at the moment. But I really like that idea. Because also, like, shields. One of the reasons I don't like shields is because you can't really use them with a longsword. I just like that idea, you know, that fe that feeling of being like Aragon, and I think that's really, really dope. Still going the right way? So it's just off to our left now, so it should just be down here. I guess we'll bring our horse down here. Hopefully she doesn't die. It's not exactly the easiest way to show a bit of terrain to reverse. But our horse is quite nimble, so I assume he's going to be like off the beaten track, right? Um, as we have all of this area to discover. So it's right around here. So yeah, he'll be in the forest here somewhere. So I guess we'll just go in the middle uh, on this track right here, is it? And then just keep an eye out for him. I guess we're going to go into dense forest. So we probably should uh, demount. And just be ready for combat. Um, yeah, as I said, I assume he's going to be in here. We'll look for any trying to, like any uh, signs of blood or struggling or anything like that. Maybe by down by the river. There's a camp here, at least. Hmm. What was that? Who are you guys? You bandits? It's always hard to tell. I think you're bandits, right? Well, I never. Big guns up yep, really bandits. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So this guy's a shield, so it's gonna be a little bit hard. Okay, that's one guy done with already. That's not too bad. Now we just have to dodge Jason Bornet. Jason Bornet. Oh, he hit me. Come on. It's so annoying when they do that. Well, you're dead now, mate. Well, that's both of them bandits dealt with. I've just got a goddamn arrow in my uh, my stomach. This uh, this chest please seems to do a lot of uh, decent armor. So I think that that human guard was just really really decent, you know, with all his skills because they were like they were nothing. Bandits are like nothing uh, to me anymore, really. Can I wash my sword off in the water? Because you guys also have been telling me to wash my sword constantly, but I don't actually know how to. Can we just walk in the, the water? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so how do I actually, like, clean my sword? Is there, like, a special button I have to do? Do I have to go into my inventory, maybe? Because, yeah, that's something you guys have been telling me to do for some time now. Um, I'm not sure how I actually do clean it. So, again, just let me know in the comments. There's the bloody clove, so I guess that's him uh, right there. Unfortunately, you have any loot on you? I guess not. Yeah, just your clothes. I put our sword away as well now. Um, I assume one of these guys will have the key, and then we'll be able to move on. So obviously I'll take your Russians. Anything else worth a lot of money? Maybe these. And a blacksmith kit as well. Because um, I, I do really need to get used to like doing the blacksmith stuff. Because it does actually you know provide you just so you can repair your stuff on the go. There you go. And a plate counters as well. Perfect. So do we actually have something we can stick on now? Instead of a van braces, which might be a little bit better. Um, are these better in any way? No, they're not. They give me... Yeah, none of these are better. Maybe because they are destroyed. Because how much is it just normally? Oh, yeah, the van braces actually do a really good job. Uh, nice. It's getting nighttime as well. I might actually just try and sleep here. Because why not? Um, so, oh, armor kit. Nice. We'll take that. Obviously, take the gem, silver goblet. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff here. We are over encumbered, as I can, as it obviously can tell. Take the candle. Why not? All of this stuff is really good. Linen shirt. I mean, I guess we do need some clothes as well. And the fabric we'll take, I guess. I'll just, we'll just take it all and then just stick it on a horse. 
Um, so we got anything else here? Again, you can go over on the horse. There's so many arrows we have. Uh, I mean, not like it really does take up a lot of room, but even still. Let's just move back to our horse. Better hunting arrows. I guess we'll just stick all of these over to our horse. Um, and then just it's the armor, right? The extra armor we picked up. Oh, we need to put on Bianca's ring as well. I'm sorry, my lady. I did not mean to disrespect you like that. And then these are quite heavy. Um, and then it's just that. So we're still actually a little bit overweight. Why? What else have we got? All of these, maybe? I guess it's a food as well. Maybe didn't help. Let's go ahead and actually just eat whilst we're here. Which we can do. We're still a little bit overweight. Just a bit. But what I'll probably do... Yeah, why are we overweight? Oh, the armor kits, obviously. Yeah, how our horse can take... Still take a bit more. So let's stick these armor kits over there as well. Yeah, let's stick the armor kits. Um, trunk key as well. We obviously don't need that anymore. So we can actually just drop that. Do we need these BK for Clara? I mean, it doesn't cost us anything. So I guess we'll just keep on holding on to it. Um, but we're still somewhat overweight. But I can't see anything else to, to get rid of, really. Oh, well, we're just going to go take a nap and then we'll deal with that later. So we've got the, the stone. Hopefully we don't get attacked here. You know, obviously just sleeping in the middle of nowhere. Bandits might approach us, but I'll wait until daybreak. Uh, we'll sleep for 10 hours. Hopefully, you know, no bandit friends come along. But if we do, we can obviously always just take them out. And this will give me some good energy. Again, we always have to be very careful when it comes to nourishment. Because we don't want to drop below the, the hungry stage. Because if we do drop below the hungry stage, then that's going to really negatively affect us. And we're going to lose our stat bonuses. Because I think it's like five days you have to keep uh, your energy, your, like, your nourishment up at a decent rate to get that buff. And five days is a decent amount of time. So to get that good, like it's a good buff. I think it's like plus one to everything. Yeah, we're still a little bit over encumbered. Hopefully though, we can just eat from the pot as well. That should uh, make us quite nicely uh, fill up. Um, and then it's just, what, we just need to move some more stuff over to the horse. But, I mean, it's so close. It's literally like three or four. But, wait, how many? Oh, that's health. Okay, cool. For a second, I thought that was like quantity. Um, I guess we can move the meat over to the horse for now. The bread can just be dropped. I don't think we're ever going to use it. So let's just drop that. Um, we're still okay. I don't know why we're so over encumbered. It's not like we've got any extra armor on. I guess we'll move the skeleton armor over. Weapons, it's not like we're repping anything too crazy. Maybe a couple torches can go over. Yeah, I really don't see why we're so over encumbered, but I guess we are. We definitely do need to pick up that other thing whenever we can. Yeah, unfortunately, they've all been killed and stuff, but that's fine. Let's make our way back to our horse. We'll just get out the shrubbery and then I, I guess go back to the jewelers. Give him the crystal. Yeah, so it definitely feels like I'm not awful when it comes to sword fighting, but I'm I, it's very difficult to take on armored, like, trained soldiers until we do learn the counter attack, and I think it's repost as well. You guys were telling me in the comments. So we'll have to pick up all of them whenever we get a chance to. Obviously from Captain Bernard. And then once we do, yeah, we'll, we'll probably be a much, much better fighter, and things will just be a lot smoother, because we can counter-attack, we can obviously take on our opponents who are stronger than us, because then bandits, you know, people who are lightly armoured and aren't as quick on, def on the defence, don't have, like, kind of the counters and the blocks, really get chewed, uh, chewed up by our weapons. Make our way up the hill. Bit easier then just to dive it to the town centre. The village is looking awesome. I love how the monastery does have kind of like a, a, a castle wall around it and stuff. Because I guess back then, like, you know, the monasteries would be a good defensive place. You know, that's where a lot of people would, you know, flee to after all. Nice new horsemanship perk. What do we get? Let's have a look whilst we're here. Uh, skills. Oh, we're actually ranked seven now. Wow, that's not too bad. So, Dreadsteed. If your horse is wounded, it will run faster. Ride on the storm, your horse will be extremely skittish in storms, but will be less shy in other weather. Strong fires, increase your chance of staying in the saddle if your opponent tries to unhorse you. That seems like a good enough thing, I'm going to pick up that. That seems like it's going to be very strong. Maybe not at the moment, but I imagine when we come into more like horse combat maybe, it'll be a really good, really good skill to have. Which I imagine we will do at some point. And I kind of also like how we are taking the... Uh, the quest missions kind of slow doing more side missions and just exploring because I kind of feel like if we just rush through the game We'll be done in like 20 or so episodes, you know Whereas this we get to really just experience the game for what it is and and have a good time 
Yeah, you change seats today, my lord. Change the change seats. God be with you. I have brought you the How stone. About Moldavite we discussed. Yes. Do you have some news? Yes. Uh, the good news is I found Vizak. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but how come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone, if you would be so kind. Of course. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. Okay, like, I don't, for like a second, I got a bit of an eerie feeling there. Like, he maybe set the merchant up to get attacked by bandits or something. I don't know. It kind of just felt a bit dodgy for a second. Though. Why would I deny I have it? I mean, I guess this game is all about options and giving the player, you know, the ability to make choices and stuff. So, oh well. So let's go over to a monastery now. We're going to go and try and get our stone. As we have to wait a day anyway. Um, and yes, yeah, so we might as well try and do another mission instead of just, you know, sleeping somewhere. Grindstone as well. You guys were hounding me about keeping my sword sharp. Uh, where is the grindstone? Let's have a look. Right here. You guys were absolutely just shouting at me, saying how annoyed you are at me. Even though my sword really needs the sharpness at all. So apparently it's, you have to, black smoke is bad. Um, and then sparks are good, right? Oh, the sword cleans. Do, do I just clean my sword on the grindstone as well? Okay, that's black smoke. That's not bad. We need to go to a tighter angle like this. There we go. That's a good. Oh, black smoke again. That's not good. That should probably be enough, right? Well, that's probably enough. I'm going to go also repair my armor as well where I can. Yeah, nice. At least our sword's nice and clean now as well. It looks much nicer. Let's go ahead and talk to the blacksmith here as well. You're just what a hand, hell? right? Yeah, let's get our armor repaired. Uh, we also might want to try and do some I more work here so I can repair my, my stuff. Like, So yeah, my sword did get repaired a little bit. Let's just repair everything if we can afford it. 200 gold. We can't quite repair everything. Um, I guess my gloves I don't really care about. Brings down the price a little bit. But I, that's probably what's costing me the most amount of money, yeah. Um, let's just not repair our under armor, right? Yeah, let's not repair this. We'll probably replace it at some point. Um, so let's close the deal. I don't really care about haggling. And then I, I do want to actually sell my stuff. Is there going to be a better person to sell my equipment to? There's an alchemist up there. There's a few traders around. Probably these guys are traders. Because I was thinking it probably wouldn't be a, an awful idea. What can I trade you out of interest? Because if it's just armor, that's good. Because I have a decent amount. Uh, no, I don't. I just want to trade. Do I not? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's trade. So you sell weapons um, and armor, which is good for me, and armor kits and stuff. And also horseshoes as well. What do these do? I guess just make your horse faster? Yeah, what does it do? Does it just make them quicker? Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't even say. Maybe it does, and I'm just not paying attention. That'd be kind of cool to wear as well, this type of helmet. But I mean, I mean, our helmet's good for now anyway, so we don't really have to worry about that. A robber's sword, it does look pretty cool, but not as cool as ours. Soul Slicer is always a really awesome sword. So I assume we can't just grab stuff right from, um, from our horse quite yet, which is fine. So the Silver Goblets, you guys were telling me that I should just hold on to them until I find someone better. Uh, because a lot of these things just don't really... Um, sell for an optimal price, at least at the blacksmith. Um, so let's get at least some of our armor. I want to see how the, some of the armor does sell to this guy. Let's pick up the axe um, and the bow, probably. So let's move back to our inventory. Back to our inventory. Arrows are fine. Torches are fine. Um, and then maybe pick up these gloves um, and the cumin armor as well. See how much we can sell these guys for. That's quite a lot of money we have there. So I'm hoping we'll be able to get a decent price for some of these stuff. Yeah, that should be fine. And we have a few armor kits and stuff. Let's see how much he wants to buy these for. He could just completely mug us off. But I'm kind of okay with maybe losing a bit of cash there. 
So let's go to our sailing. Let's go to weapons first. We want to send a Kumin bow. So this bow is worth a lot more money than this. But I guess I'm always going to get mugged off, right, at some point. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Again, I'm not really going to cry about, you know, 500 gold here and there. Um, so, yeah, let's just, let's just screw it. Let's go ahead and just, you know, get rid of this stuff. Again, maybe not, maybe might not be the most optimal way. Uh, but I'm not really too bothered, honestly. I mean, it's actually probably better better gloves than the ones I've got on, if I'm honest. Um, so let's just sell that. I mean, these are selling for a decent amount, like them shoulder pieces. Oh, are selling, and I mean, so these gloves, the helmet. I mean, this stuff is all like kind of beaten up, so it's not going to sell for a lot anyway. Yeah, I can definitely see that we are getting mugged off to some extent here. But whatever, we'll keep hold of them if we can. Um, anything else you want to sell? Other items? I think we're going to keep hold of all of this stuff, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead. Go to the basket. We'll make 300 gold. And we can maybe even haggle a little bit as well. Try and increase let's the price just a bit. Naturally. Naturally, my lord. Uh, let's go down to like there. Satisfied? We're getting there. Just So what else do you want? That's not bad, actually. Let's try like... Let's try there. Alright, that would... So we've got 400 gold, basically, for all of that. I mean, I'll take that, whatever. That's, that's good enough for me. And I repaired. Did I repair all my armor? I did, right? Yeah, oh, no, I didn't. What the hell? So let's repair our armor really quickly. Sorry, guys. I've, I'm a mess. First recording back and all. No, wait. I, I don't. I did. Oh, good. Great. I must have just... I must have literally just looked at the one piece of armor I didn't repair. So we should be fairly, uh, fairly decent right now. Let's go ahead and start this monastery quest, then. As we do just walk through this awesome looking castle. Very, very dope indeed. Um, so he's going to be over here. It's probably right to him who just, that guy just walked past us. Right here. Hello, brother. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'd be the master builder. Or with our brother, the Overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the Overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. His study is right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. Okay, uh, I can do that for sure. So the Overseer, so he's like back there? Oh, okay, so he's like above that. Cool. Made sense. God, the guy looks dope as hell in his plate armor. So he should be this direction, through here. I'm sure he's going to send me on some long-winded thing to do. I love the battlements as well. Look at that, just staring out across. That's a beautiful sight to behold right there. Hey, hey, I was talking to you, Observer. There you go, my lord. You guys are also getting really annoyed at me because I call everyone my lord. I guess it's just... I'm I don't like mean it as in... So I don't mean it as in like you are you are better than me. You are a lord. I just kind of just say it. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Is that it? Oh, can we just get to ask Who's them in all? charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well. Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Oh, here we Usually go. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. 
Okay, okay, so we got some in interesting stuff right there. Game saved as well. It, it's so different, because in, like, other games, whenever you see a game save, you're like, oh, shit, what's about to happen? Whereas in this game, it's kind of like, oh, nice, a save point. That's always good. To talk to the master builder about the site accident, so is he below me? Is this the master builder? No, you're not. Uh, so I assume you're below me, if, as long as we can get in here. I guess not. Maybe you are up there. Just quickly double check you're not any of these dudes. Peace at last. Not for now, anyway. Wait, where are you? I can't get in any of these places, so I assume you're not going to be here. And obviously, that's not the master builder. That's hey. the observer we just talked to. So he must be below me. You're just a guard. What is he? So it must be you then, right? Yeah, it must be you. Yeah, you've moved, so... It doesn't say Master... I guess you wouldn't really... His name isn't Master Builder. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is correct. The Overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? Let's just get straight to the point. Where's the scene of the accident? Oh, he's, <laughs> I thought I'd be like, tell me now. Site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. God, there's so many, like, go talk to this person, go talk to that person in this. Has anything else unusual happened? Let's see if anyone else can give us any information. When we were extending the scaffolding, they dug up a human skull by the wall. With horns. The scaffolder Leshek got rid of it straight away, but there are still rumors going around about it. And about the building being cursed. A skull with horns? How did it get there? I don't know. I didn't see it with my own eyes, but there were enough witnesses. You can ask Leshek. He'll tell you more. What about the second thing? One of our workers ran away. And that's unusual? Somewhat. Usually, if someone runs away, they take things with them. But he left everything here, absolutely everything, and disappeared like steam over a cooking pot. He didn't tell a soul what he was up to. Okay, so we found a bit more information, and it does sound like someone is kind of maybe trying to bait these guys to do other stuff, and maybe not commit too much. Look around for clues, and then ask, okay, where the scale was found. Stone Mason, your brother Porter. So yeah, it is you. Sorry, so none of these guys like have their names above them, so it's really hard to you. tell. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screams. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? No, I didn't. All I saw was a man with his head caved in, lying trembling. I never want to see anything like that again in my life. Okay, I mean, I thought we just asked him, right? Then? I didn't see it. Yeah, we just asked that, like okay. What? Great, thank you for the information. So where's the other guy we're supposed to talk to then about that? Maybe he's the other side of this? Let's just have a quick little look. I guess not. Yeah, this is a problem. There's going to be so many people we need to talk to. So what else do we need to do? Obviously, because he could just be in the tower as well. The map is like really obscure. And we need to go to the accident anyway. So let's just go around here. We'll walk through this pathway. And we'll just, you know, whoever we can talk to, we'll just talk to them. Because, again, this game does very, like, always tend to offer you other dialogue options if you if you look for them. Oh, it's probably this guy right here. So just ruin my energy. Let's get all my energy back, just in case. No, that's the guy we just talked to, right? Yeah, that's the guy we just talked to. Well, maybe someone over here. Yeah, it would be this guy for sure. Stone Mason, my lord? Anyone else? I mean, he's not a named Good character, so... Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom. Did you notice anything? No, I didn't. All I saw was a man with his... Yeah, we've already asked that, my lord. But oh, there's loads of dudes right here. The stone Mason, it'll probably be this guy. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. 
Good day to you. What do you need? Good day to you. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumours spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. I feel like someone is putting this stuff here to like stop these guys from doing something so they can steal the stone or yeah, it's like, it'll be something along them lines sure I feel. It or maybe it is a devil's skull. I know uh, skull. what I saw. I can recognise a human skull and this one had horns. Like the devil. Besides, that thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only, I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. It's probably gonna be like a skull with some glued on, uh, <laughs> glued on horns or something. So the skull's over here. I kind of feel like I want to go get the skull first, more than anything, before kind of really pursuing this. So I think that's what we're going to do. The redstone as well. Oh, it looks so cool. I love the masonry here. What is going on down here? Hmm. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and get back on our horse. We'll go look for the skull. Pick that up. So I want to kind of get all the information first before taking a look at the... We'll see. There you are. Good to see you. So it should just be down here. We take a right, follow this round, and just a way out, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe we're going to have to actually walk it down there if there's not an, an actual exit. It doesn't look like there is one there. Are we honestly, I mean, I saw a gate down there, so maybe we'll just try the gate. And we'll just walk our way over there. Yeah, there's a gate right to there. Oh, if our horse can make it through the trees, which it can, perfect. I mean, we can run it. We probably do need to do some exercise. As we have been using our horse quite a lot. So it should just be off in this direction. I mean, we could just call our horse and do it here, but, you know, whatever. A beehive. Yeah, so I'm probably going to, you know, after, after we've done both these quests, I probably am going to go ahead and, you know, go back to Retay. Do the Teresa missions because you guys have been hounding me to do the Teresa missions. Learn some more, you know, fighting skills with Captain Bernard. Strange, there's nothing under here. Um, and then, and then probably do some blacksmithing as well. So what? They rolled down here. So it could be anywhere along here. One would assume. So let's just double check. It's not like Imol leaves here or anything. Yeah, so we're now out of the... Let's just get back up here. So we're now out of the area. I doubt it's going to be anywhere along here. Yes, yeah, it's 100% it's the other side. Are we in it now? No, we're not. We're just about to come in. So it's just... Oh, it's probably that investigated point right there. Okay, so after about 10 minutes of me searching for it, I finally found it just tucked away very, very nicely right here. So let's pick up the skull itself and mm. we can further it on this quest. Genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. So at least we got that skull now. That's going to help us out. Let's make our way back. And I assume we're going to have to show this skull to someone, to the local knacker. What's a knacker? That's all I want to know. But we can do that, that's for sure. So let's make our way back. Um, I guess... Where's he? So he's all the way... Oh my god, yeah, he is down into Sassau. Wow. I guess we will... I guess we'll look around for clues first. Because that might lead us something as well. Uh, but it does seem like we are going to have to go to Sassau to... Try and get to the bottom of this. But we'll see if there's any more clues, uh, clues down here to finish this up. And it's kind of good that this is taking us as long as it is because, you know, by the time we finish this quest, I'm hoping that the other quest will be done. Uh, the jewel for Lady Stephanie will be done so we can just push on. We're supposed to be going around here, right? Or is it actually inside of the... Or is it actually inside by the looks of it? If we can't even jump up here. Oh, no, have I, have I ruined myself for everything I have? Oh, well, we can just go all the way around. Parkouring like we do. There's not a single entrance over here. Oh, we're gonna have to go all the way around. How long? 
Okay, so I'm assuming the accident happened over here. I, I would guess um down here maybe because it is just to say right yeah right here so i assume it's down here where like the caving happened yeah there's a bit of the blood here as well here you can still see the marks there's a ladder just there oh gross there's the stone as well this has to be the stone that hit him i'll take a piece of it maybe someone will recognize it yeah i bet you will end up being a stone but it just doesn't even matter really Oh, that was like glowing for a second. Looked kind of weird. Bowl from the cave? Don't think I. I mean, I'll pick it up. Why not? Might come in useful. I don't think it will, but you never know. Anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Just like food bowls, jars. Don't think there's anything too out of the ordinary. Just some more stone. That is glowing at me, right? It's just not me being stupid. Okay, cool. So we've got all of that. Um, and then I guess we're probably going to have to go to Sassau now. Where's actually a gate right there? Is there anything else around? Just don't want to double check that there's no like hidden things that could really help us out. No need to steal anything, as he said. We're obviously we're playing quite honourably. So now where do we need to go? We need to just go down there. Oh my god, we have to go all the way up here as well. Find the origins. Well, I guess we'll go down here anyway, as we are here by Sasao. And I guess we'll go do Lady Stephanie's quest. We'll, we'll wait until, you know, evening, maybe go buy ourselves a room. Maybe buy ourselves a cheeky wench to, to quench our first. But I think I want to go to Sasao first, and uh, even just to explore it. Maybe we'll explore, finish up the, uh, the campaign part. When we do hit the city. Because then we, because then if we want to go check out the origin of the stone. We can go ahead and do that whilst we're handing the other quests. Because we have to wait like a, a day anyway. So right, it's just, it's just directly down here, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, follow here and then just go through. So it should just be up ahead and then we just take a left. Here, if I'm not mistaken. God, sometimes navigating on this game is not easy. Because I guess you don't get like a mini map at all in like in the bottom right or anything. Because I believe in The Witcher you do end up with one. This will be good as well because we'll explore more of like the this traders and stuff here. Like the blacksmith and stuff like that. We'll discover this just by you know running through it, etc. So it's always a good thing to have in you know, the weaponsmith. The inn grindstones and stuff, markets, traders. Oh, but is this Sassau? I guess it must be. No, it still says it's like down here, right? I guess this is Sassau. It's just like a bit of bigger village. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. I guess this will be one of the main uh, main cities. It's just weird that it's kind of the thing is like right here. Maybe not. Maybe it's like here. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, uh, but yeah, so we should be here now. It's dis dismounted make our way over here you maybe no oh the grave digger oh yeah that's, i guess that's what uh whatever he I was called I, I like how everyone calls me a knight now as well it's awesome i found this skull people are saying it's the skull of a demon but i don't know it certainly looks like it with the horns and all well let's see those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. Okay, so a bit more information we've gone ahead and secured for ourselves right there. Do we have something else to go in, like, question? Ask him if he put it there himself. It definitely could be a good objective to try and do. I guess maybe we'll go and ask him before heading back, um, and then maybe finding an inn. Is there an inn around here? Probably one of these. I mean, I know there is a tavern right here we could go to. Um, but yeah, I think getting a nice rest would be good. 
then I guess going to question him, because we might come to a conclusion, we might not even have to go all the way back there, if I'm honest. Uh, we might be able to, oh, I didn't mean to pick up the console there. Uh, we might be able to just simply just get the information out of him, if we pressure him enough, maybe. So let's go back and we'll question him before, and if we do have to go all the way back, okay, I'm just discovering all these places really quickly. And if we do have to go all the way back to town, but we will wait, obviously, to bring Lady Stephanie the, the crown. Because I imagine she'll pay us quite nicely. Because we have had to do a lot of errands for her. So we should get, you know, at least a couple hundred groschen. Hey. Which would be very, very nice to have. Because, uh, yeah, I think we're definitely going to buy uh, at least maybe a mace. We can, we can always stick our mace on our horse. And whenever we come up against, you know, more heavily armored foes, we can just pull that armor, that, uh, that thing out of our horse, the mace out of the horse inventory, and just use that. Cool, let's make our way over. Just have a quick little chat with him before making our way back to Townburg, maybe. See what he has to say for himself, because maybe he'll be able to tell us someone else who uh, did do it, if, even if he can't. And he said it's like that all over. Why is that then? Well, the roads ain't safe, so they have to hire armed escorts, and them fellows don't come cheap. On account of brigands, like? Aye, they're all over. That damn Sigismund and his bloody heathens. In King Charles's day, we had peace and calm everywhere. Hmm. Okay, just, just seeing if they were going to give me any you know, bit of information I could have used against God them. God be with you. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom. Did oh, you notice we're... anything suspicious? That's when not a guy left, to talk to. There was a terrible stench. We were being punished for digging up that skull. Are you serious? Wait, it is this guy I need to talk to, right? Maybe not. Who do I need to talk to? Oh, there's someone here, right? Ask. Oh, just ask everyone if they put this. I suppose it's the scaffolder, though. Have you seen Leszek, the scaffolder? I saw him. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about the head he dug up. Really? That's interesting. Why? He asked me to meet him on the scaffolding tonight, so he can tell me something important. Said he wanted to confess something. So he did have something to do with the skull? I knew it. Maybe. But I'd wager someone made him do it. He doesn't seem the type to come up with something like that on his own. I'm planning to go and meet him. Will you come with me? Of it course. will be safer with the two of us. Yeah, obviously. I'll go. Very well. We'll meet at night. If I'm not down at the bottom, then look for me at the top. All right. Great. So we have a nice little period we can wait to find out some more information. What's the objective right now? It's just what? Me, them under the scaffolding after dusk. So we can do that. So we nice. So we'll do that next episode. We'll continue on this quest. We'll finish up Lady Stephanie's quest. And then if we have time, we'll go to Rete and we'll practice our sword fighting. Um, I mean, maybe, you know, we'll, we'll just train with Captain Bernard at Townburg. You know, when we do actually return back and give him these quests. So, yeah, we'll definitely do that. So, nice. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Just remember, there will be another episode later today. So, make sure to drop a like and a comment on this episode. If it gets over 700 likes and the next episode gets over 700 likes, I'll do a double upload on Saturday for you guys. So, if you want to see that, want to see more content, then that's the best way to see it. Thank you guys massively for all the love and support on this series so far. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.